Friday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. We're here live. I'm Alex Jones. Joining us, popping in with an update on uh, his quest for 9-11 Truth, his request for the president to read his 20 bullet points in 20 minutes with the president, and his quest to get the media to not distort what he said but actually debate him on fair terms, Charlie Sheen joins us. Charlie Sheen, good to have you here. Great to be here, Alex. How are you, man? Um, I'm great. Uh, I just told you about uh, that I'm on the White House enemies list to, quote, be taken out politically. I'm uh, number 25 on uh, uh, number 24 or 25. Now, now, what, what, how, how long is the list? How many, how many names are on there, or, or do we even know? Twenty-five people are on it. Oh, so you're number twenty-five. No, I mean, I'm number twenty-four of twenty-five. Yeah. Ah, excellent. So you just made the cut. Congratulations, Alex. That's fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. So these knuckleheads would compile a list, uh, you know, uh, singling out people that are that are that are that are searching for the truth that are asking these clowns to be accountable for their actions. It's just unbelievable. So this is the country we live in today. Fabulous. Fabulous. It's amazing. And, you know, my film that the White House singles out exposes Bush and Obama and just says that Obama's continuing the wars, the Patriot Act, secret arrest, and that we wish Obama would keep his promises. And I guess I get on a list for this. Yeah, you're not making anything up. You're just, you know, you're just pointing to the truth. That's all. Yikes. I mean, I guess um, I guess at this point in the game, it's better to be on the enemies list than the friends list, right? <laughs> Absolutely. If you're, the, if you're on the friends list, you got to be employed by Wall Street, you know? Absolutely. Uh, Charlie, let's get into uh, your 20 minutes with the president. Mega viral all over the web, millions of views, and your message to the president, the video. Uh, the media attacked you. They distorted what you had to say. They, they never really mentioned your specific bullet points, like six of the ten commission members saying that 9-11 was a cover-up, a hoax, a fraud, that there should be a criminal investigation. Right. Uh, I know this has been frustrating for you and I. Uh, can you can you speak to that? Well, yeah, it's just it's 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 exactly what we anticipated would happen, that they um, that they would attack the man and not the facts. Um but it got it got so blatant that it that it uh, that I think they really showed their hand in 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 how they in how they treated it and how they behaved around it. And I think that um, I think that that sends such a such a huge message right there that uh, that you and I put forth something that uh, that they just, as I said before, they couldn't disassemble. So they tried to disassemble me. <laughs> you know, um, absolutely. And it's a shame because you know. Um, we're not, you know, we're not naked sh shouting from the top of a building, come debate us. We're just, you know, we're issuing a very calm and, and, and reasonable offer to, to just sit down in, a, in an open and, 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 and fair debate forum and, um, and hash this thing out. And as you and I were talking yesterday, um, we did get a nibble. We got a nibble um, to uh, O'Reilly's credit. But uh, it's 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 odd to put those two words in the same sentence, O'Reilly and credit. <laughs> but um, but it just we haven't reached an agreement on on the terms that 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 we set forth. And this afternoon, we're going to be publishing an article at PrisonPlanet.com that I and Paul Watson are going to be putting together. And specifically, now we can tell people what happened behind the scenes. Uh, Larry King Live contacted you your publicist, they wanted to have you on, but then they couldn't find anybody to come on and debate you. That's correct. Uh, yeah. From the other side, we have those emails. Right, right. Uh, we also then, O'Reilly's people contacted and said, yeah, basically come on our show and we'll slap you around and turn your mic off, basically. You said, no, we're going to be publishing that email. You said, no, we want to do it neutral, where I get one minute, you get one minute. Uh, Good Morning America looked at it and then backed off of it. I guess that's the nibble, because... If they actually put you on TV, and they know this would be huge ratings, so there's no reason they shouldn't, right. except for the fact is we talked about, I'm just paraphrasing you know, your, your uh, analysis that I think spot on, dead on, that they know your 20 points are too powerful and they don't want that discussed. And so they're turning down Charlie Sheen wanting to have a debate on national TV, which any TV producer would kill to have happen. Well, no, I mean, it, yeah, I mean, I, I, I can't say that, but if, but if you insist, then, uh, then thank you. Um, but yeah, no, but I, I, as I said, I just think it's in, it's in keeping with, uh, with how this, 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 uh, 
very uh, deceptive and dangerous machine operates, you know, and, and as long as they've got uh, they've got the media under their control, then um, then this is the mountain that we must continue to climb, you know. Well, it certainly is. Uh, now, maybe O'Reilly will agree to debate you somewhere or maybe even agree on his own show to have a moderator in and to have a real debate. I mean, it would be as big as uh, Vice President Gore debating uh, Ross Perot. I guarantee it. I mean, they could definitely sell tickets to this thing, but they are afraid. They want a one-sided, well, just like what we saw with Geraldo Rivera when he was on O'Reilly. I mean, they pulled out every stop or that other show that they have on in the middle of the night on Fox. I mean, this was the most brutal, savage, attempted character assassination I've ever seen. Yeah, it was even worse than the first go around back in um, back in March of '06. Um, it's almost like they were sending a message, you know. We 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 warned you back then, and 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 now we're gonna, you know, we're 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 pulling out all the stops this time, you know. But again, if you know, ninety percent of the comments of the uh, of the reader comments uh, and of the viewer comments, everybody at least ninety percent, they they kept saying. Look at his document. Look at his facts. Look at his data. Look at his information. Stop going after him. So people, you know, are 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 very much aware of 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 this this sham tactic. You know. Well, in the final equation, tens of millions of people conservatively read your letter, read your bullet points, and it has definitely re-energized 9/11 Truth. It was still growing, but not as fast. Right. So I commend you. You oh, knew you'd you. be a well, no, thank, thank you, Charlie. You. you knew you'd be attacked for this. Of course. Uh, why did you do it in the final equation? In the final equation, um, I, 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 I have to say that, it, that, it, that the message I was trying to get out was new president, new investigation. I think that's, that's pretty much it at the end of the day. New president, new investigation, you know. And as you said in the letter, you voted for Obama. You believed all the things he said he was going to do. Has he kept any of his promises, Charlie? Um, none that I've observed. Uh, if you if you discover any that that were kept, please uh, bring me up to speed. You know. Believe me, I'd like to I'd like to find some. Now he's saying Guantanamo is going to stay open, and they're going to set up camps here in the U.S. Shifting gears here, because I know you've got to get back on the set. Uh, for, uh, you guys are rehearsing for two and a half men, the top yeah. rated. Uh, comedy tv show right now uh the the contest now now we announced a few weeks ago we're going to have it monday is going to be the official date charlie is judge jury uh executioner he is the guy <laughs> that is going to watch the videos right uh and uh you, people are going to have one month from next monday we're going to have a special website that we're building just for this uh and i'll have the specific rules that charlie and i are finalizing in the next few days but Specifically, Charlie, what are you looking for in the winter here? Um, I'm 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 just looking for uh, the most interesting interpretation of of the material, and and you know, um, I mean, I would I would you know, I'm not looking for people to turn it into a song. <laughs> that might be a little much, but I'm just looking for. Perhaps the most interesting interpretation, the most passionate interpretation, um, just something that, that 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 you and I might not have have thought of in in imagining what people are going to present, how they're going to how they're going to construct this thing, how they're going to create it and present it. Um, and and again, you know, people don't have to have to be off book, meaning no scripts in hand, you know, because I mean, I I. You know, you and I wrote the damn thing, and there's no way you and I could do it memorized. So it is fine with, with the document in hand if it's just read. But, um, and again, there's no, um, there's, there's, there's no, uh, constraints on, 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 uh, on race, on sex, on age, on anything. It's all about just whatever two people decide to sit down and bring this thing to life, and however they do it, then the one that, that, that strikes me as, as being the most interesting. That's the one that will award to be the winner. And there's not only the $13,500 prize because you want people after taxes to get ten grand. Very nice of you, Charlie. I was announcing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You bet. I was announcing ten grand, and then you corrected me during the break. You said, well, make it so they get actually ten grand uh, after taxes. Second place will get a thousand. Third place will get five hundred. There's a secret surprise as well 
uh, that is going to be done with some of the best videos that we're going to just leave as a surprise until later. But this is a contest everybody wants to be involved in. I want to see hundreds and hundreds. I know we're going to see hundreds and hundreds of entries. We've seen hundreds when I have a $1,000 prize. Right. Uh, and so...